Someone just decided that Wi-Fi is too basic, and the next logical step is blasting the internet from the moon itself. An actual company wants to build lunar cell towers, beam data across space, and basically turn the moon into a giant interplanetary hotspot with a project called IM3. If this works, astronauts could FaceTime from the lunar surface. If it fails, we get the world's most expensive no-signal screen. The year is 2025, and humanity has moved past the normal bad ideas and gone straight to the premium ones. Because once you start installing antennas on ships, balloons, and literal farm equipment, the next step is obviously the moon. Because why give Earth reliable coverage when you can give it to a barren rock 384,000 kilometers away? A few companies, including Nokia, Intuitive Machines, and NASA partners, want to deploy 4G and 5G networks on the lunar surface. NASA's Artemis program plans to place humans back on the moon. And as we all know, astronauts need oxygen, water, blazing fast mobile data, obviously. The network itself would support things like lunar exploration, rover-to-rover -rover communication, real-time video feeds, and maybe the first ever lunar TikTok dance if humanity truly fails. Sorry for that. So instead of giant dishes, the plan uses compact LTE slash 5G nodes scattered across the lunar surface. These nodes talk to landers, rovers, bases, and relay data back to Earth using satellites. In other words, send data from the moon to small cell tower, from there to orbiter, and then to Earth. A cosmic version of, my Wi-Fi is weak, so I'm using my neighbor's router. The real challenge? The moon has no weather, but somehow still manages to break everything you put on it. So what could go wrong? Well, lots. A micrometeorite could vaporize your $200 million cell tower. Lunar dust is so sticky it could destroy the entire network. China, India, and the U.S. might start fighting for the moon's 5G coverage map. And there is definitely going to be one rover named Carl who forgets the Wi-Fi password. So, in early 2025, Intuitive Machines launched the IM2 mission a lander carrying Nokia's first lunar 4G network. The rocket lifted off on February 27, 2025, and everything looked good. Until it wasn't. On March 6, 2025, the lander did reach the moon, but instead of gently touching down like a responsible adult, it tipped over on landing. Imagine spending hundreds of millions just to belly flop in lower gravity, and because the lander fell sideways, its solar panels were pointed the wrong direction, cutting off most of its power. Mission engineers couldn't fully deploy the cellular equipment and rovers that were supposed to test the network. The hardware technically booted up, but the system never got to perform the full signal demonstration. Temperatures and lunar dust made recovery impossible. Officially, Nokia says they delivered the first cellular network to the moon, which is technically true. The box made it there. But practically, the network never got to run real operations because the lander essentially face-planted and lost power. This is why the big plan to put internet on the moon didn't fully kick off in 2025, and why NASA and Intuitive Machines are aiming for another chance with IM3 in the early 2026. So the next time your home internet drops, remember, someone out there is trying to fix that by building a network on the moon. And as always, thanks for watching.